Yeah. So let's talk about the Islamic secular. I mean, I think, talk about that, right. <laughs> just a little bit, you, you know, know, you know, you know, you know, people don't realize this, man. You know, <laughs> that book is over 500 pages long, man. You yeah. Know, yeah. I know you, that. Yeah. <laughs> when you, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you write a book, man, um, you know, for the first year or two, well, me, me, uh -huh. for the first year or two, it's like, man, get that thing away from me, man. <laughs> you know, you don't, you don't, you don't even want to. <laughs> Done. Uh, no, but uh, I just think I think it's relevant. I think it's relevant to 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 this conversation. At yeah, least okay, again, yeah. my interpretation. Uh, so the why? That's why I wrote right, it. Right. Of course. Right. Of course. Yeah, that's right. why I wrote it. You know, and 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 um, of course, similar to other terms like indigenization. Oh uh, yeah, it's, it's um, like it's misunderstood. Right. Yeah. So secular. Yeah. You know, let me let, why me, let me break that down. Let me break that down. Yeah. First, okay. this you see see and here's where uh, I, I don't want to play the victim, okay. but Sometimes I am victimized, mm -hmm. right? Because people mistake their understanding mm -hmm. of something mm -hmm. for my understanding. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Because mm -hmm. they understand secular in a particular way. I have to understand it in them. Mm -hmm. right? right. Even, even more egregious, mm -hmm. because they hand over the definition of secular mm -hmm. to the modern West. Mm -hmm. The modern West's understanding of secular. Mm -hmm to be the only meaning it can have. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. And so when I use it, I have to be using it for that meaning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we act as if Islam has nothing to say about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, how, how about etymology? What does etymology have to say about it? Etymology is almost irrelevant. Right. Okay. Etymology is, is almost, is, is almost uh, irrelevant. Or rather, or rather, rather, what I mean by this is the history of his use itself, man. Because like, yes. it can seem to me that your use of secular is yes. linguistically authentic. Yes, right? but, but no. right. well, two things. Right. Yeah. And I don't want to get into too many details, but right, two right, right. Yeah. I, I will say this. Right. Mm -hmm. One of the things we mistake about the West, uh -huh. and we do this on several levels, mm -hmm. is that we assume that the West is mm -hmm. a single thing. Mm -hmm. Right. No, you have dominant voices in the West. All right. Mm -hmm. And then you have dissenting voices, mm -hmm. even among the majority. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Follow what I mean by that? Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, not everybody subscribes to the normativity of secular as mm -hmm. non-religious or separating religion from state, mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. in the West. Right. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's number one. Yeah. So when you say the way it's used, well, we mean the way it's used by the dominant Culture, okay, I accept that. That's right. fine. Mm -hmm. All right, but that doesn't mean that there are no alternatives to that dominant use. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Right. Number two, the West, whether you like it or not, okay, mm -hmm. and 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 I don't like it, mm -hmm. exercises an almost uh, unstoppable mm -hmm. hegemony epistemological, how people think yes. in the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right now, people have two choices in life. Mm -hmm. To be religious mm -hmm. or to be secular. <laughs> All right? Mm -hmm. The West has succeeded in making the, 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 the claim, and I don't mean just an intellectual claim, Mm -hmm. But even modeling the claim yes. mm -hmm. that the road to success, the mm -hmm. road to dignity, the road to progress, to development, and everything that human communities want, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. these two, in fact, begins with the secular. Right. Mm -hmm. Where does that put religion? Right. It puts it right where we see lots of Muslims. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. Secularizing, all right, mm -hmm. in order to progress. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My point is that mm -hmm. if we look at Islam, mm -hmm. Islam's tradition and allow it to mm -hmm. speak in its own voice, mm -hmm. we will find alternatives mm -hmm. to this dichotomy between the religious and the secular. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. The Islamic secular is a religious secular. Mm -hmm. There are no non-religious spaces in Islam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is no place no. Mm -hmm. where I can go, Abdullah, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Where I can escape the watchful gaze of the God of Islam. That's right. Mm -hmm. Everything I do is on record. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. this is where the Islamic secular comes in. Mm -hmm. Some of those things mm -hmm. are a direct dictate or product of God's revelation, Sharia. Right. Mm -hmm. All right? But some of those things, Abdullah, I don't get from Sharia. Mm -hmm. Even if I get the parameters of how I'm supposed to discharge them from Sharia, the mm -hmm. actual substance, I don't get from Sharia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Question, is that still a part of Islam or not? Right. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take its cue from concrete dictates mm -hmm. of Allah's revelation. Mm -hmm. Concrete. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Follow what I mean by that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Um, but it is still something that we do for the sake of Allah, for the sake of advancing this deen. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So it's Islamic on the one hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. But it's re it is not the dictate of revelation, concrete dictate of revelation on the other. Right. Right. It is right. Islamic secular. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still reading the book. I mean, I've read a, a bit but of it. Do you understand the point? Yeah. That yeah. I'm to yeah. 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 Totally. Yeah. I totally get right? it. I mean, I mean, I mean, look at the signatures of a, of, a, of a Muslim society. How do you know you're in a Muslim society, Abdul? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's the majority of the population, you know, that no, identifies no, Muslim. No, no, no. You, no, no, you don't like, know any Arabic. You don't know none of that stuff. Okay. You just go. You just dropped off. The culture. It's the culture, right? You know, it's it's, it's whatever. Oh, they you don't recognize any culture. Uh, I'll, no, tell you, I'll, I'll tell <laughs> you what, 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 what. The symbols of a Muslim society. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the main symbols mm -hmm. is what. The, the masjid. The masjid. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. You hear that? Mm -hmm. You see the domes. Yeah. You see the minaret. Mm -hmm. All right. I remember mm -hmm. I, I sat on one of the boards mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I want to put too sharp a point on this because this can get, mm -hmm. shouldn't be, but it can get controversial. <laughs> I sat on one of the boards, uh, in fact, it, was, it was in Qatar. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Education City wanted to, they were, they were, they were commissioning mm -hmm. you know, all these fancy architects um, to, to, to build a new mosque for, for a masjid, for Education City. Mm -hmm. And we were presented with the plans all right. Mm -hmm. And you had all kinds of fancy plans for masjid, you know, the, I mean, the, the latest architectural, I mean, you know, wow, new age stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember one sheikh, I'm not going to say his name, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he looked at him and said, in the masjid, that, that these plans, they don't look like a masjid. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, what's the point that I'm making? Mm -hmm. All right. Were there domes in Medina in the time of the Prophet? No. Were there these towering minarets in Medina in the time of the Prophet? No. How do these things become symbols of Muslim society? Mm -hmm. It is the cultural ingenuity and appropriation of the Muslims that did that. Mm -hmm. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Allah did not tell. There's no hadith that says, have a have, have a, a dome. Red, have a dome here. Yeah. There's no hadith that says, have a minaret like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no Quranic verse. Yes. All right? This is Muslim ingenuity. And where would Islam be without mm -hmm. the semiotic mm -hmm. power of the masjid? Right. As, a, as, a, as a symbol, in a sense. Yeah. Right. Human right. communities need these. Yeah, yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Right, yeah. yeah. And yeah. so what I'm saying is that that's part of what you need for the instantiation of mm -hmm. Islam as a lived, living reality. Yeah. You cannot do Islam on the ground with ahkam shara'iyah alone. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, again, 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 that's coming back to that thread I, I'm talking about. It's kind of, it's throughout all of, all of your works, you know, is it, it's about indigenization, it's about normalization of Islam. Um, and so the true value, it seemed to me that, uh, you know, speaking about what we call the Islamic, what you're calling the Islamic secular is the fact that it does sort of, it empowers the believer in a yes. way that, that he or she has not been empowered prior to that. Look, look, look Abdullah, the word I, I mentioned this in the book. You may have read it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because part of the problem that we have is that yeah. we have so much talent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And by the way, mm -hmm. when I say talent, mm -hmm. I don't mean, mm -hmm. you know, just the talent of rocket scientists and, mm -hmm. you know, all these college educated people. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, excuse me, blue collar talent. 
-hmm. right? Underclass talent, mm -hmm. right? We have so much talent mm -hmm. in this Muslim community mm -hmm. with which we could craft a plausibility mm -hmm. structure of Islam or for mm -hmm. Islam in this country. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the vast majority of our talent pool mm -hmm. does not think that their talents are Islamic mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. or Islamically relevant. Yeah. yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. And so what happens? Mm -hmm. All that talent gets siphoned off to non-Muslim deployments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But I, I guess that's I give the distinction between obedience and obeisance. That's right. You're right. That's so, right. yeah. So, so, so I, think I mentioned I mentioned in the book, yeah. and this was actually happened. I'm not going to say any names because you know, mm -hmm. uh, people attack me. They don't they don't, don't want to attack them. I don't want to get anybody in no trouble. <laughs> uh, but 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 I was in Philly. It must have been 25 years or so ago, and they were showing me around a major economic development project that they had. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, you know, job training centers. Mm -hmm. I mean, with actual computers, you mm -hmm. know, they were they were training people, you know, to get jobs in hotels. So they had, you know, hotel rooms laid out. So they trained people how to, you know, how to do the hotel rooms and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. They had housing projects, education, mm -hmm. projects, major, major economic project. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I was I was amazed. Mm -hmm. So I asked one of the imams who was taking me around and showing mm -hmm. me this. I said, so what do the Muslims believe? What do what do the Muslims think about this? <laughs> he tells me what? Ain't no deen in it. <laughs> That's not deen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You follow what I'm saying? Yes, yes. 